Thanks for checking out this unboxing video. This is for the January Snacku, and I do have to apologize off the bat. Uh, this is late, uh, so to anyone who really looks forward to these videos, I'm really, really sorry. I've had this for a few weeks, and I've just been dealing with some stuff. So, uh, yeah, I've been dealing with some stuff. It's been a little rough lately. So, um, sorry for that. Got my plate that I put my leftovers on. Uh, hopefully... This is a good box. I don't, I'm not very prepared for it. It was just kind of like, oh, I feel like I have some time right now. So, once again, sorry. Uh, so, the January one is focused on Kyushu, Japan's third largest island. Very pretty, as usual. Very, very cool looking. And if people want to see it, here's the card if you want to freeze on it. And what does it look like inside? Looks like a nice treasure trove of Japanese snacks, as usual. Let's do it. One of the other things that's good is, like, when I've been going through some stuff or, like, rough times or whatever, when I do unboxings or I do, like, movie reviews or anything, it has a tendency to kind of increase my spirits, so this should actually help me out, which is really good. All right, so let's go to the first item. First item we're going to go with is this one. This has got to be, am I going to like this or not? Is this shrimp senbai? It might be. Airy senbai made with, no, no, it's not airy. What is this one? And you hear my cat yelling, oh, this is the katsuo menbai. Sorry, this is part of the featured snacks. Let me show you. Sorry, sorry if you're hearing kids playing outside, my wife taking a shower, and my cat yelling in the background. It's a mess. I'm sorry. Once again. So, Menbai, a portmanteau of Mentaiko and Senbai, is made by the 100-year-old Aburia Fukutaro in the city of Hakata. The city has historically been a merchant town, and Fukutaro got its start as an oil merchant. Aburia means oil merchant. They soon expanded to other food items, including Hakata's regional specialty, the Mentaiko, spiced kadro, and Katsuo, dried Bonito, which is infused into the Senbai. Ah, so it's probably going to be fishy, so I don't know. Oh, yeah, fishy. I don't know, like, I can do, like, a low-level fishiness, but when it gets higher, like, this smells pretty fishy. That's probably going to be a little rough for me. So, yes, it looks like fishiness. Had things like this before. I'm going to eat this over here. So, um, It smells very fishy, but it also smells kind of there's a little sweetness to it that's almost kind of like cornmeal ish and there's a decent saltiness i don't want all that much hmm okay actually that fishiness is very very low very low and it's more of that kind of like cornmealy texture it's a little crunchy it's got that saltiness to it as well not very sweet, and I said there was a little bit of sweetness on it. It smelled cornmeal-y. It kind of tastes cornmeal-ish, but not sweet. Oh, pretty good. It's actually not bad. Okay, sorry. Chloe, you either come down here and hang out with me, or you go upstairs and ignore me. Those are your options. My cat, she just needs to be talked to sometimes. It's the weirdest thing. All right, so... Next thing, I'm just gonna go with what's on top. This looks interesting. So this should be, actually, what is this? Is this the Na uh, Saga Nishiki? It might be, but I'm gonna have to open it to totally figure that out, but I'll do that. All right, let's get into this one. I don't wanna take too long either because I got chicken in the oven and holy crap. This is hard to open. There we go, I'm getting it though. I'm getting it down. Getting it down. Oh, yeah. Okay, so that's what it is. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely what it is. Uh, Saga Nishiki. I'll show it to you, and then I'll read it. Looks cool. Looks really interesting, actually. Saga is located in northwestern Kyushu, and it's one of the least populous prefectures in Japan, but has a rich history and is considered to be birthplace of green tea in Japan when the monk Iasai, Isai brought tea leaves back from China. Because of this, Saga is also home to some of Japan's most famous potters, as pottery making flourishing flourished along with the rise of Japanese green tea cultivation. 
Sage Nishiki is a famous snack made by Muroka, a popular local snack shop that's been making snacks since 1923. A soft dough made from yam is filled with red beans and chestnuts and then sandwiched between delicate bomkuchin cakes that were folded into hundreds of layers by hand. Okay. The recipe for the snack is said to have been passed down from the personal chefs of the dar- daimyo that ruled the area. Wow. Okay. So um, a lot goes into this. Um, we'll see how it is. I like the red bean aspect of it. I don't like the chestnut and the yam. We'll see. I don't know. It smells It smells very bready. A little bit sweet, but not too sweet. That's about it. Hmm. It's very soft, very cakey. It's very light, too. A little bit of sweetness to it, but it's not super sugary or anything. Hmm. I like it. Hmm. Okay. So it's just like this nice, light cake, basically, that's not super sweet. It just kind of tastes like a straight-up cake. There's not a ton of different flavors going on. Just like a low sweetness but then when i hit like you can see that there's just kind of like peppered in there those little red beans you just like you'll hit one of those red beans and you know it's a red bean so that adds like a little extra sweetness to it and that flavor and then you can see there's like like here i don't know if you can see it there's like chest chestnut piece there that's actually pretty good looking at it i was like i don't know how this is gonna go but tasting it that's good that's solid Mm. Yeah, I dig on that one. And that's one of the featured snacks as well. Okay, next. Oh, they gave us two of these? Okay. They usually don't. So it's in a bigger bag, so usually they only give us one of these. So this time we have two. This is Nawagi. Uh, This is from the popular snack side. Fun potato ring snacks sprinkled with seasoning and sea salt. Must be a secret seasoning because they're not saying what it is specifically. Oh, okay. Smells like potatoes. Smells like salty. That's pretty much all it smells like. It just smells like salty potatoes. And it looks like basically the potato chip form of calamari. That's good. Do you like potato chips? But do you, it's more like um, like the baked potato chips that you get. It's that kind of consistency. It's that kind of crunch and flavor. This is good. I really like this. This, I know I've said this before, but like this snack with with a beer. Actually, I might do that tonight. Don't judge. <laughs> All right, moving on. Okay, this one looks interesting. This is also from the popular snacks. Oh, we've had one of these before. I remember. I remember this specifically. I'm oh, sorry. Now the light's getting out of control. Come on, like, pick a mode. Jesus. I'm sorry, everyone. I'm trying to move the light a little bit. Sorry about that. Um, bourbon bomb rolls. Delicious vanilla glazed mini bomb kuchen rolls. We've had this before in one of the previous boxes, and I remember it being amazing. I'll say that. Or maybe not amazing, but quite good at the least. Ooh. Ooh, this smells like lemon, actually, which is why it makes sense that it looks like yellow on the outside. It's like a roll. Ooh, it's very cakey once you get in there. It's almost like a, it's like a white chocolate on the outside is what it seems like, but it's lemony, and then you get into the cake. Yeah, it's like a really nice zing, zesty lemon flavor. That's really, like, light. And kind of sweet and refreshing. That's really good. Uh, that's really good, actually. I'm usually not big into like citrus snacks like that, especially if it's in cake form. But that one's tasty. I quite quite enjoy that one. Very nice. Mmm. That's a winner. Sweet. Okay, now this is the shrimp thing that I thought I was getting at first. And this is also from the popular snack side. This is Ebi Shrimp Senbai. Airy Senbai made with baby shrimp caught off the coast of the Sea of Japan. I have a feeling that this one is going to taste pretty um, pretty fishy. 
That's my guess. You see all the little, like, prawns on there. Shrimp, prawns, whatever. Oh, so fishy. Blech. And it's orange. It's pretty salty, which is really helping it because I feel like that's kind of downplaying the fishiness of it. So the fishiness is actually a little bit low. Yeah. It's a little like, I mean, it's more like senbai. It's more on the senbai side with like a touch of shrimp flavor with a good saltiness. These are actually good. I'm surprised. Okay, that's two things I thought were just going to be too fishy for me. And they weren't. They ended up being good. So I'm pretty surprised. Sorry, the lighting keeps... I don't know what's up with that. I'm going to have to look into that for next time. I don't have time to deal with that now, but... My apologies. Alright, I'm going to have to open this one up to find out what it is. So I'll show it to you first. Nice packaging. Quite like the packaging. I have a feeling it's... Hmm. You know, I don't know which. I was going to guess. Is this the Don Don Yaki? I think it's the Don Don Yaki. An old-fashioned snack from one of Japan's most popular onsen hot spring towns, Yufun. This snack is made from slow-baked wheat cookies and mortar-crushed local red bean paste. I'm a fan of the red bean paste. Yufun is in northeastern Kyushu in the Oida Prefecture. The picturesque town surrounds Mount Yufu and is home to many historic shrines, upscale ryokans, and natural hot springs. I've heard good things about the hot spring experience. I can't smell. I smell. I smell like nothing. Like, it smells like nothing, except it smells a little starchy. And I can kind of smell a little bit of the red bean. What about it? Yeah, it's red bean paste. Yeah, but it's interesting because usually the red bean paste is just like, like it's a little bit like um, kind of like gr a grainy paste, but this is almost a little like fig Newton, like the, the, the texture of like the insides of a fig Newton. It's got that typical red bean paste flavor. It's a little bit sweet. It does have that little bit of a graininess to it. To be honest... The cookie portion on the outside isn't doing a whole lot, just adding something texturally. The flavor is mainly just from the red bean paste, which is pretty solid. But you have to like red bean paste, so that's decent. It's not, you know, I don't need more of that. It's like, whatever. We've had much better things. Okay, yeah. Okay, this one looks interesting. Oh my gosh, I have crumbs all over me. I'm just going to throw I, hey, I'm the one who vacuums down here anyway, so I'll clean it up. Uh, Moroboro. Uh, Kitajima was established in 1696 by selling this snack, which was originally made as bite-sized preserved food for Portuguese sailors in the Saga ports. However, as the store started to improve the recipe, the snack became a huge hit with the locals. To this day, the cookies are still made by hand, using only the best local ingredients. We recommend either dipping it in milk, eating with ice cream, or spreading cream cheese on it. Okay. It looks cool. It just looks like a fat cookie that's, like, fluffy, but I don't think the consistency is going to be fluffy, really. Okay, so this is what I've not been doing that I should be doing. Just putting my hand under it. Um, it just smells really bready. To be honest, it kind of smells like a like a burger roll, you know, like a bread burger roll. Yeah, that's what it smells like. It's very bread-like. Oh, like it's kind of hard on the, it's like a little, like it's like a crust texture on the outside, but once you get in, your teeth just cut right through it. It's relatively soft. Slightly sweet, not super sweet. I see what they mean about dipping it in milk. Like, getting this a little bit soggy in some milk and having that kind of dairy with it would make it even better. Because it just tastes like slightly sugary, a little vanilla-y, a slight buttery note. It's decent. But yeah, i definitely like do something with it. Or the ice cream. The ice cream idea is a great one because, you know, when you talk about milk, 
ice cream is just a better version of milk. A much better version of milk, let's be honest. I'm going to make myself look a little bit better. I'm trying to not get as much shine off my forehead and my balding portion. So, you know, life. Okay, next. this That was from the featured snacks. This is a popular snack. This is the Onigiri Senbai Onigiri Rice Ball Shaped Baked Rice Crackers Glazed with Soy Sauce and Sprinkled with Seaweed. If the seaweed flavor isn't too pronounced, I'm going to quite like these, I'm sure. Oops, almost lost it. I'm a mess. A mess today. Ooh, it smells like soy sauce. It's that nice, sweet, tangy smell. Oh, it smells so good. Yeah, looks so good. Oh, mm, this, is, this is a nice smell. It's got a great crunch. You taste that soy sauce. Sweet, tangy. There's a nice saltiness. And that great crunch. And a nice rice senbai flavor. Yes. I love getting things like this. Always, I love things like this. Once again, just like this little potato rings. Great with a beer. Now I'm going to have to have a beer tonight because I have more of these snacks just sitting here. And I don't think my wife's going to want them. She hasn't been feeling well, so. Um, okay. What else do we have? we got two more things, it looks like. Maybe they'll give us one of these. Okay. So this must be the Aoshima Senbai. Aoshima Senbai. Miyazaki is located in the southeastern coast of Kyushu and has one of the warmest tropical climates in Japan. The area used to be the top honeymoon destination in Japan because of its plentiful beaches and resorts. This particular snack, crispy wafer sandwich filled with either strawberry, hiyuga citrus, or mango cream, ooh, that all sounds good, is from Aoshima, a small island off the coast of Miyazaki. The island is ringed by white sand beaches and has a pristine jungle in the middle of the island where you can find an ancient Shinto shrine. Cool. Now I'm pretty excited about this, knowing what the fillings are. What do I want? Uh, the mango cream sounds really awesome, but I think I want the strawberry most. Because typically when I've had the snacks, the, these Japanese snacks that have the strawberry in it, they've been pretty awesome. Doesn't look like that's what's gonna be though. It looks like maybe it's the mango cream or the citrus thing. It smells mangoey. Yeah. Slightly sweet, mango type smell. Oh. Yeah. It starts off with like obviously it's nice and crunchy, but then it starts off with like a low level sweetness, a little bit buttery. And then you get this kick that comes in of that citrusy, like, tropical mango. That's good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. This, this, along with that um, bourbon balm roll, the one that I was saying was very lemony. Very good. Yeah, those are awesome. Mm-hmm. I'm surprised with that one. I didn't, I didn't really know what to expect so much, but. Okay. Then the last thing. What the? Oh, is this um, like yuzu or something? This is also from the popular snack side. A soothing candy made with 100% organic squeezed pear juice. Uh, it is marugato nashi. Come on with that. There we go. I'm sorry, guys. About that. And there's a dog yelling in the background. Sorry about that. Oh, my gosh. This has a thing to open it, and I can't... Okay, are these like chews or they might be hard candies? I'm gonna find out. We're gonna find out the hard way. Uh, okay, it looks like hard candy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're very smooth. Look at how smooth that is. I mean, like when I get hard candies in the United States, a lot of the time, like it's smooth for the most part, but not smooth like this. Hmm. Wow. Oh wow. Oh my gosh. That flavor is like, it's intense, but it's not too intense. It's like very bright and fresh and vibrant and just tastes like, that's like the most beautiful pear flavor I've ever had, I think. That's excellent. 
Oh my gosh. Mm. Oh my gosh. That's awesome. And once again, like with these types of snacks from Japan, in comparison to the United States, it's not super sugary. It's like, it's sweet, but it's not like really sweet. It's just this low level sweetness and it really lets the fruit flavor just shine like crazy. And this is really good. Like, I feel like this would be a good substitute where you're like, I feel like I want some sort of like fruity drink, like a juice or like a kombucha or, you know, whatever you're into, uh, like a flavored seltzer water, whatever. But instead just be like, oh, you know, I'll just grab one of these. That flavor's outstanding. I was not expecting that. Okay, cool. Well, that's it for the box. Um, once again, sorry this is so late and sorry things are weird, like the light, the lighting, the noises in the background, my cat yelling, like, I apologize. February will be better, I promise you this. It'll be more on time, and it will be better. We always have that to look forward to. So, of the snacks, honestly, this has been a really good box. Um, my favorites in here, obviously, that, that, that send by right there, like, I'm always gonna love those, but these potato rings are super awesome. That pear, that hard candy pear thing is really awesome. That um, like zesty citrus uh, roll was really good. Um, and do 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 other favorites. Oh yeah, that don 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 yaki was awesome. Yeah, and those were my favorites. And then I was also surprised with the saga nishiki. This one, the that big one. Whoa. Okay. We need a lot of things real quick that are weird. Get some air bubbles. Anyway, thanks everyone for checking this one out. Hopefully you enjoy these. Give me some feedback down here. Do you like this? Also, do you get Snacku? I don't have any like partnership with them or anything, but I'm just curious. Like, Are other people getting Snacku who watch this? Um, put some comments down there. I think there's been at least one person who's commented about that before, how they saw my video and then they were excited to get into theirs. So I like to hear that stuff. But let's talk about Japanese stuff, Japanese snacks, whatever. Uh, hit that subscribe if you like any of the videos I do. That's your way to repay me because I don't make money or anything. I'm just spending my money and time doing this for, for fun. Uh, but thanks, everyone, for checking this out. And until next time, keep it brutal.